Welcome back, Superstar. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to write a mission statement simply and easily in about five minutes or maybe even less. Let's go. Here's a little overview of what I'll be covering. First off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why it's so important to have a mission statement. Then I'm gonna get into what is a mission statement, and I'm gonna share a formula that I've developed over the years to help plug and play your mission statement. And then finally, I'll be sharing a whole bunch of examples so that you can get inspired by some of my friends, colleagues, and clients. Why does it matter to have a mission statement? Well, if you're here, you probably already know the answer to this, but just to give you a couple things you may not have thought of. People generally understand that it's important to have a mission statement because it's client facing, because they want clients to understand who they are, what they do, why they do it. The truth is that I've found that a mission statement can even be more powerful for you than even for your audience, for your clients, for your market. And that's because a mission statement refines and defines what you're up to. It helps you narrow your focus, define your ideal market, explain what it is you even do and why you do it. So a great mission statement is short, sweet, and impactful. A great mission statement clearly defines what you do, who you do it for, why you do it, and sometimes even the special or unique way that you do it. I'll explain more in a moment. But before I do that, I do wanna share and give some props uh, where they're due. I wanna share how I learned this. The, the first time I ever heard this formula or a variation of the formula I'm gonna share with you was from one of my mentors, Jake Merriman, in my very first retreat that I attended back in September of 2014. And then a few years later, I came across an incredible human at the National Speakers Association named Lois Creamer. Lois Creamer is a coach who specializes in serving, leading, and supporting speakers. And she made a couple of refinements to this formula. So now this final formula that I use with all of my clients in every single one of my events is this one here that's kind of a, an integration of those two with a little bit of my own special sauce. Okay, so the formula that I'm gonna give you tackles three really important things and it has an optional fourth thing that you might wanna include. So let me share it with you over here on my handy dandy flip chart. The first part of the formula is I work with, and I'm gonna put here a blank and that, you fill in that blank with X. And then the second part of it is to do why. This is what you do for them. And then the final piece of the formula is so that Z. And then you may want to add the optional piece is in this unique way. And that might be your signature system, something that you've invented, some special process that you use, and you may or may not actually even need this piece. So let me go ahead and fill in these blanks. I work with X and X is the who to do this Y thing and Y is the what. And so that Z, which is the how, in this unique way. Let's call that W. Let me break this down even a little bit further. When you talk about I work with X, you wanna be as specific as possible and use language that you believe those people would use to call and to self-identify. So you wanna use a word that's aspirational or something that that they would want to be, not something that they wouldn't want to be. So for example, I hear a lot of people try to use this formula and say, I work with stressed out salespeople. Now, they might self-identify that way and that might work if you wanna focus in only on pain. But I, I caution you to stay too much in only pain or negativity in your mission statement. If you're gonna use something like stressed out salespeople, make sure that you bring it back and uplift it again later when you talk about what you do. I work with stressed out salespeople to increase their mindset, find peace and let go of their anxiety or something like that, right? So just something to notice, you may wanna instead though choose, I prefer generally speaking, to choose an X that is aspirational and then put the pain point somewhere in what you help them do. I work with these incredible people to help them reduce this problem that they're facing. So it might be more like, I work with superstar salespeople to reduce stress, 
find new ways of creating sales and improve their, you know, improve their sales performance or something like that. And then so that can be broken up into two parts. There are two parts of this so that, oh my goodness, I actually put how here and what I meant to write here, sorry everybody, well I hope you watch the whole video or you're gonna get this one wrong. Why, okay? This is actually the why and this is the how, okay? So to be clear, but this one, this so that, this why, I'm gonna go ahead and write this down here. There's two kinds of why. There's a little why and a big why. Okay, so the little why is the why for the person, for the client. It's something desirable, valuable that that person wants. And or you can focus on the big why, the, the why that is in the world. So for example, in the salesperson mission statement that I gave you earlier, I might work with superstar salespeople to improve their performance so that they can bring their incredible products and services to the market in a bigger way. So that could be a bigger why, or you could say so that they can find more fulfillment and success in their personal lives. And that might be a little why, and you can always combine the whys, but I will caution that you, caution you that we don't want these things to get super long. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some examples from my own clients and colleagues. But before I do that, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe even post your mission statement below. And who knows, maybe I'll come through and I'll give you some uh, ideas or feedback or insights on your mission statement. So here are a few examples and forgive me because I'll be reading some of these that my clients sent in for me to share with you. First one is Leanne Marie Webster. Leanne has created something called email with heart and honor the inbox. She's an email marketing expert and strategist and her whole thing. Well, let me not tell you about her. Let me read you her mission statement. What do you think? She says, I help expert entrepreneurs deploy email marketing in a way that honors their audience's inbox so that they can create relationships of mutual trust and prosperity. Beautiful. She uses the exact formula. And by the way, I do want to share that you can sometimes move these around. Like sometimes you do the I work with, with the why and then the what. So I work with this person so that they can have this outcome and the way I do it is with this specific process or tool. All right, so I'm gonna give you another example. Gwen Stewart, she is, she like, she helps companies Gwenify their business. So she says, I consult with mompreneurs to discover new income streams, build engaged social media followings, and wow their customers. Another person here is Rochelle Seltzer. She's the author of the book, Live Big. And she writes, I coach accomplished, ambitious women who are ready to step into their power, go further in their careers, and live big now. Here's another one. This is Julie Getzinger. She's one of my clients and she says, I help portrait photographers up-level their mindset and skill set so they can break through to the next level of success and make the impact they came here to make. So you can feel the little why there and it's kind of connection to the bigger why with the impact that they're here to make. Here's another one, Scott Carley. He, he says, I energize leaders to take innovative action on their professional bucket list of dreams now. So that's a really activating one. You can kind of feel his energy there. And finally, Amy Lemire, she says, I work with success-driven sales stars to increase confidence, personal power, and revenues so they can lose the stress and be the best version of themselves. Anyway, so if you got inspired by this and you're working on your mission statement, I wish you the best of luck. I hope this is helpful for you. And if you ever want my support personally with your mission statement, you can find out more about my programs and services and even sign up for a discovery call at superstaractivator.com slash go.